What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, I'm Detrucci, and today we are going to be reacting to the second disc of Nightwish's brand new album, Human Nature. This song is called All the Works of Nature Which Adorn the World. Uh, we're going to do the whole thing, and so I'm excited, and depending on what type of music it is, because I really don't know anything about it, the only thing I know about is Ad Astra, which we did. But depending on the type of music that it is, I may end up letting it run and just pause it less if it's meditative or like nature based, which it sounds like it might be, uh, because that doesn't really warrant me commenting on it too much. But I'll try and find appropriate times to pause it if that is the case. But either way, uh, I'm excited for this and I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, sit back, relax and just... Let's check this out together and see what it's all about. <sighs> okay. There is a pleasure in the pathless woods. There is a rapture so on the lonely shore. There is society where none intrudes by the deep sea and music in its roar. I love not man the less, but nature more. That's cool. So it's not that you love men less than you love anything else, it's that you love nature more. I like that. Disney movie. This is insane. This is so cool. 
incredible. change scared me i'm like whoa that made me jump <laughs> oh i kind of wish i what did on spotify because it'd be clean playthrough so far. Incredible. What's this one called? Blue? The blue? So is that like the ocean, I guess? Oh, we got the green, which is going to be like the, the forest. Yeah, this is great so far. Um, I really like this. This is like Thomas trying to... I want to say he's flexing, but it's not. It's more of like he's trying to push his boundaries and test himself creatively because obviously he's done quite a lot of Nightwish albums and he's went really far within the whole metal genre and I feel like this is him trying to prove himself that he can do it at like a level far beyond that and so it does sound very movie like very Disney like but I think that's what he's going for so he's using his influences probably like Hans Zimmer and all those kind of people and he's creating something unique that's never been seen within the kind of metal world because that's obviously what he's influenced by outside of metal music 
and he's doing an absolutely amazing job. Uh, I'd be surprised if he doesn't get offers for like doing other things after this because so far it's just it's so beautiful what he's doing with all the different instrument sounds the the voices the composition is second to none so far but let's keep going let's keep going this is the green this is this is going to be like the fairy lands the the woodland creatures i'm sure This is the fairy tale, the fantasy, the, the hobbit land, if you will, you know, the, the Shire, where all things are green and beautiful and flowers are, flowers are growing and all that kind of stuff.
incredible. Absolutely incredible. I want Thomas to make the music for the next Final Fantasy game. Like, this is... Di this music can directly be put into, like, an RPG game. This is so beautiful. 100 out of 10 so far. This is just blowing my mind. Anyone who listens to this album and does not give it the respect it deserves is wrong. Because this is far, far, far beyond anything that I could ever thought of imagine from a Nightwish album, including the first disc. Uh, everything together, the whole album together is just, it's mind-blowingly good. It's so good. It just hits everything and each thing is its own, its own uh, creation. I love it. This one's called Moors. Ooh. The swamps. The... Moors are nice and peaceful though. Especially on a starry night. Love Moors. Whoa, wait, wait, what? Are you kidding me right now? killing me this is so beautiful why like I, I was thinking like there's no way this could get even better and of course I completely forgot about Troy like wow he just comes in out of nowhere and has the most beautiful melody to his his pipes oh man my heart rate as soon as I heard that my heart rate just went up like wow okay amazing absolutely amazing <laughs> I 
knew it was coming! I knew it was coming! Yeah! I love it. in the drums as well. That was really good. Oh man. <laughs> Aurora, so that's like the sky above. Maybe. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Let's keep going. I already said enough on that song. <laughs> this An anthropocene including hurrying him to nikal i don't know what that means i don't know what that is Ooh, okay let's go let's see what you got
this whole RPG music. Okay, we got Ad Astra. I think this is the last song on the album. So I just want to say a big thank you to guy thank you to all you guys who have been watching this week uh through my journey of Nightwish Human Nature. Uh I have reacted to this one before and I'm gonna do it again. But I'm not gonna talk through this one. I'm just I'm just gonna I'm not gonna pause, I'm just gonna let it play and we can experience this together. So big thank you to everyone who's watched and interacted with me over the past week. It, this has been one of the my favorite moments uh, ever because I've never done this before. I've never reacted to an entire album with other people. And it took some willpower to stop myself from listening to him uh, when it first came out. But in the end, it was so much worth it because experiencing it all with you guys has made it such a bigger experience for me in general. And I have to say that probably this is probably my favorite album of all time. <laughs> I think this song confirms that for me. Uh, this entire second disc, this just, it's absolutely mind blowing. And I don't know, I don't know anything else that can compare to this entire album experience. So for me, this is probably my number one album from this point on. So I'm just going to let Ad Astra run and thank you guys for watching. And let's do it. Stunning. Thomas is amazing, man. The whole band, I didn't know they, I didn't think they could pull something like this off, but I mean, what can they not do? It's incredible. This is a metal band that's doing this right now. It's just beautiful. Every king, peasant, 
every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. That's here. That's home. That's us. Yes, that's it. Oh, that's it. Thank you, guys. Enjoy your rest of your weekend. Stay safe. Peace. I'm out.